people of the internet, my name is Shitty Shadow, and it's time for another JD Reacts of Miraculous. And this one's called Princess Fragrance. I have a couple of ideas about who this might be featuring. Chloe, the super bitch. Something that has to do with evil and accumatizing perfume of some form. With that in mind, episode 14, I think. Let's get to it. <laughs> she did that last episode although she made someone cut it in half Aww. are you just sick do they could get beavers and flus in that what? oh <laughs> yeah that's my that's my reaction right there. Wait, you are sick in school. What? I do not want to be near you. Yes. Oh, God. Of course it's Chloe. Damn! I don't like her. Dr. Bobby is strict. Because you were late, too. Oh no, Tiki is not. So he, she couldn't transform either. Yeah, right. Holy shit! Damn! <laughs> wow! Did someone punch her in the face? What the hell? And of course, something tells me Chloe and Aquabot are working together. Thank you. Thank you, Brett Michaels. I would love to have that song in my head right now. Every rose has its thorn. Bam! Of course. Princess Fragrance, I am Hecmore. Your perfume is now your secret weapon. You're not pointing to me. I'm sorry, you're not pointing to me. I'm coming, my friends. <laughs> well, Yeah, right. I mean, we're in the same class, I promise. If you're not a friend, then I can't. Yes, I'm a friend of Chloe's. We're BFFs. Aha, Chloe doesn't have any friends. Yeah, and that's all her fault. Wow, that was quick. That was easy enough. <laughs> the face. Wait, 
<laughs> oh! Uh, what the hell? Oh, hello! Yeah, and apparently you're looking like Harley Quinn. Oh god. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe she would have a crown of thorns. This is so very kind of you. <laughs> You're flattering me. It is so kind of me though, isn't it? Why yes, I see. Yeah. You did not hear me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm very happy to be here. Why the hell would you use that the hell? Yeah, it is. It is me. Ew. And of course, that wouldn't be the only fragrance. Uh, yeah, it would be a plume of smoke or a strong odor. There too. <laughs> so they think Marinette is a monster. You cannot sing. Please stop. You're making my ears bleed. Why are they singing the line? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Damn. Well, it seems that you are an equal opportunity offender. Damn! Wow, there's a couple of times now that we've seen that Pole have a lot of power. Wee! <laughs> Oh no, and there goes her miraculous. There goes Tiki as well. What? No way we can go to the hospital now. We gotta get Prince Ali out of Paris ASAP. Yeah, and she's chasing you as well. You know, maybe you'll be the Prince Crown Crown Prince of Crime. You had the miraculous right there. Why don't you do something? You need to transform. I'll be okay. No, you won't. Is she gonna be okay? One who is burning with impatience can never eat hot porridge. Um, what has this got to do with eating? Silence, please. Mr. Biagi? Is that Mr. Biagi? I have no idea what she just said, but that was awesome. How did you do that? Ancient Chinese secret. Missed him. Break you. What? Kiki, I'm so, so sorry. You're so sick and, well, I don't know what I'd do without you. You wouldn't see Ladybug for one. <laughs> I know, but I mean, Kiki, you're more than just my family to me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Can we... <laughs> There you go. Wow. Major development. Yes. Padlock. Are they a living commercial jingle? Well, <laughs> well, we're going to see this again. Never. 
What is with the... Oh no. Why did you just do that to begin with? So that happened. <laughs> oh shit. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. No announcing what was in what was evil ties. The hell? <laughs> what? What was she doing? Hey! Oh, <laughs> come up and s uh, <laughs> Okay, so let me get the negatives out of the way first before I go into the positives because there was a there was a major thing that happened near way before Baronet transformed. But one of the only negatives, and I think that Chloe is the super bitch now, but I think maybe they're laying on a little bit too much to the point where there's no really redeeming qualities about her. In the first few episodes that we've seen, she had a little bit of redeeming qualities. It now just seems like she is laying on the ultra bitch to the point where okay it's starting to break a little bit of immersion like okay there's gotta be something that is causing her to be this stuck up like other than the fact that hey she has the mayor as her father or something there's gotta be something else to it or like to the point where they're just doing it for the sake of doing and it's just She's just there in order to be the Deus Ex Machina for Hawkmoth. As much as I like the fact that, okay, there's somebody who's like really hated, it, 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 there needs to be some sort of additional reason in order for me to really believe, invest in that sort of thing to where, okay, you really sympathize with why she's doing what she's doing. And like, just not be this ultra bitch just for the sake of them having that Deus Ex Machina thing going on there. Or the opposite, whatever that is. Now, to the major plot point that happened. First of all, I called him Mr. Miyagi because didn't he sound like Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid? I don't mean that as an insult, but Mr. Miyagi is an iconic character. And it really did sound like the person who did Mr. Miyagi in the movies. That is what he sounded like to me. The actual Mr. Miyagi. And if it happened that way then either this guy is really, really good at impersonating him, or he really was him, and that would be awesome if they got him. I can't, I don't know his name, I'm sorry. I do not know the name of the guy who did Miss Miyagi in the Karate Kid movies. But the healer and the guy said, Agent's Chinese secret just like yours. I'm like, uh-oh. Lore! We got some more lore here. And then the emotional aspect with Marinette and Tiki that was like it, it sort of given us more of the bond that they have like she's more than just this uh, object that makes her transform into the superheroes like a very good friend and she cares about this thing very much that was very touching to, to see a major development like that to see that there, that bond that we see more of how that bond is growing. The villain, <laughs> I, like, I like the fact that as soon, as soon as she hypnotizes them with the fragrance or whatever it was, all of a sudden, they turn into walking commercial jingles. Especially Cat the War with a cataclysm. Like, the hell? <laughs> 